Hi guys, thanks for checking out my latest video. In this one, I'm going to paint a picture of my car onto this trailer. There's already a picture of Subaru on this one. I painted this about a year ago, maybe a little bit longer. But I'm going to redo this side with a new one. So this side I don't think you'll have seen. The side I'm going to show you now, some of you might recognise. So this is an Audi Quattro S1 rally car, which I painted around last year and the video is on my YouTube of me painting this one obviously it looks a little bit worse wear now there's some of the wood started to delaminate and just peel off so you can see the sheets which make it up so that side needs fixing before I can paint onto it some parts you can't see but it's all bent and yeah there's some large areas falling off so I can't paint that side but I'm going to paint this car onto this side so the first step I've got to do is emulsion out this and then I can paint it. Okay, so I'm back up at the trailer. I've marked out the grid onto it here, and I've got the picture of my car I'm going to paint here, which I've also put the same grid onto just to make it easier to sketch up. I've got loads of paint, there's some on these here as well, and another bag with some new cans in. I've also got a load of different nozzles just to get different sized lines into different effects, and I've set up a GoPro camera here which will time lapse. I'll also cut in with this camera just to explain a few parts. So the first bit I'm gonna do is to sketch it up. So that's the basic sketch done. There's a few bits that I'll probably change when I come on to the next step. I'll just go a bit closer. So it is very sketchy and rough. The headlights, I want to change a few bits on. Same for the grille. The interior, I'm happy with the scoop, the wheels. So the next bit I'm going to do is start to put in the background around the car and then I'll paint the car itself. So that's what I finished off with last night. It's not finished yet. I just had to call it quits because it got too dark. But you can see it's starting to come together. There's some bits I'm happy with. There's a few bits I do need to fix. That line there looks like it drops down a little bit. Uh, the roof isn't finished. And a few bits on the side. But you can probably see it's starting to come together. The wheels need a little bit more shading on it. They've only got a couple of colours. But if I step back. It's getting there, I might put the photo up actually now so you can compare it because I'll be looking at it and just picking out what I need to change, but yeah.
the finished piece. So I'm quite happy with it. There's a few bits that I would have done differently. There's a few bits I'd change if I was to start again, but overall, yeah, I'm quite pleased with it. Zoom in on a couple of parts. I managed to fix the bottom of the bumper, headlights, fog lights, I fixed the roof as well. So I go close, you can probably see how a few little lines with the spray cans. When you zoom out, suddenly they cut more. And when I go even further back, they all sort of merge together to make the finished piece. So same goes for all the little bits. There's a few bits that are a bit difficult to pick up on the camera on the time lapse. I don't think you could see much of the stuff in the background. Also, if I go very close, I can't really see because of the texture of the trailer, but there's a few little tiny bits of detail. But yeah, I'm. Quite happy with it. I'll put up the picture now so you can compare it and then I'll get some photographs.